Now underneath translations and uh, transcriptions, this is what I was talking about when you can actually turn on community contribute uh, contributions to different translations and the closed captioning on there. You yourself can also add your own closed captioning. Let's go to my video manager. Underneath edit, you can see I can add annotations and I can add subtitles. So underneath the videos, when you actually have videos, you have the ability to edit them immediately right there. Your video manager, when you do have a list of videos, gives you some different options. I can immediately see the view count on certain things. I can see whether it's public, right with a little icon. If I click on the little arrow here, I can quickly change the info or settings. So like I mentioned before, I don't have anything set in stone. If I want to unlist a video or make it go public after the fact, I can do so. I just click on info and settings. And just like I had when I was uploading, I now have the ability to change translations, add different settings. I can see this one is unlisted. This is an old live stream here. And you can also edit things. So your video is not set once it gets to YouTube. You can go back and change, enhance things. Uh, underneath enhancements, not only do you have quick fixes like increasing the lighting, so if you have a really dark video, you can change that, or the contrast. You also have things like blurring effects. If I click on blurring effects, you have two options. The first one is I can blur the faces, so it automatically looks for anything that does a face and blurs it, or I can do custom blurring, meaning I can choose a certain area, let's say an email address that may be private, I don't want to put up on a YouTube video, click edit, and I can instantly add in blurring depending on where the top the area is. You can also do things like audio adjustments. So you can add a track right in and we're going to get into a little bit more on how to add audio after the fact. Annotations. Annotations are not the same things as subtitles. Annotations are those little pop-up boxes that you see when you're watching a YouTube video. Something like if I want to put a link if I'm talking about OBS in this project earlier, I can add a link that will pop up in the video after the fact with the obsproject.com so people can instantly click it and open it up in another video. You can also even just add text in there. So if I want to make a quick comment on something, if I said something incorrectly and I want to clarify, I can add an annotation right in. So I just click add there. I can do it as a speech bubble, maybe a title or a label, and you can add it right into your video. Cards. So cards themselves, if I click add card, I can add something that will direct them to another playlist. So maybe they get to the last video in a playlist and I want them to make sure that they know there's a, another, another uh, set of playlists in that series. So maybe there's a getting started with Google and a going further with Google. I can add a card at the end of that video to direct them to the next playlist without it being in the same playlist. You can also do things like add another channel. So if you have a channel that you would recommend, you can hit create, or even things like donations and polls. So you were mentioning earlier in the chat about engaging people to check for understanding. Now, if it's a live stream, it's a little bit more difficult to do, but after the fact, you can add that poll in the video and look at the results. So maybe once they've gone through the video, you want them to click on the poll and say, did you find this interesting? Or even a further more applicable question of, do you agree with this platform? You can take a poll and also link to additional websites right down there. So cards can be extremely handy. 